Hey guys, my name is Dani, this is my channel and welcome back. And for you guys that are new to the channel, I've been working on building this Jaguar D-Type out of aluminium from scratch for the last year using some aluminium sheets and some homemade tools and my homemade English wheel. And I will put a link to the whole build series at the top of this video. But in today's video, I'm going to specifically be concentrating on the Jaguar's Le Derriere. So let's get going. Okay guys, so like I said in this video, I'm going to be working on the rear section, fabricating a boot lid for this Jaguar. But before I do that, I need to first finish off this lid opening. And what I've done so far is I've taken off the wheels and I've fixed this rear section into position using some temporary screws so that there would not be any movement in this rear section when I start working on this lid and the opening. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fabricate the internal structure that's going to keep everything nice and steady on the inside and then start folding this edges over and make it nice and tidy so that it would look something like the driver and passenger's openings there in the front. And when I'm finished with that and I'm happy with the results, then I can start working on the lid itself. So I'm going to start straight away with the substructure and then folding everything over. Let's get going. Hey guys, time for an update. I've now finished making the internals for this cavity and I have made a nice and strong um, substructure 
and folded everything over and made sure that the left and right hand sides were symmetric by using some stencils and so on and I'm very happy with what it came out looking like what I also did was I made some holes on both sides so I could just have access to this rear quarter if I needed to panel beat it or so on at a later stage and also I'm going to use it when I start installing stuff like lights and so on to reach in there with the wiring but apart from that guys I'm happy with this what with what this hole looks like so far and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start working on the lid for this boot and the first thing I'm going to do is just cut a piece that I'm going to use for the outer shell and then start folding it and forming it on the English wheel and when I have got my lines more or less where I want it then I can start working on the internal structure for this lid and start mating everything the same way that I did with the door and hopefully I'll have a beautiful lid by the end of this video. Let's go! Alrighty guys, time for an update. I have now finished making this outer skin for this bootlet and let me tell you guys this was also very challenging to get the angles perfect and also get it so that the slope would be right and also considering the underside so that the angle at which it goes underneath the car would be correct and also getting the radius right because it needed to transcend very smoothly and be symmetric on both sides but I've got the skin ready now and what I'm gonna start what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark out the skin on the inside and then just trim it down a little bit 
and then I'll fabricate the inner structure of this bootlet and then I'm going to start folding everything over and see if I can get this done. So let's get going. What? Nice. Ah. Okay guys, there we go. One by bootlet for this Jaguar. And let me tell you guys, if it wasn't for YouTube's guidelines, I would have been using much stronger words. This rear panel has most certainly been the most difficult one that I have had to make on this whole car by far it actually became a bit of a pain to make this rear boot i've got to tell you i'm not beating around the bush it took forever and it was very very difficult for me for some reason to get all these lines to a point where i'm happy with it and get this curvature and also fit this interior piece uh, and make it nice and strong and make it look like the original car it was a whole lot of work I do not know how I could have done it easier but there it is in any case it did come out looking pretty nice there's some more fine tuning and adjustment that I need to do on it but that is how far I came with it for now and it is looking pretty fine uh, also another thing that made it very difficult was the fact that you had to also consider the bottom when I had to make it 
so there's a lot of things and there's curvatures on the sides it really just was a, a difficult panel to make but I'm happy that it is done now so that is just about all of the panels that I had to manufacture for this Jaguar except for that one there on the top where the fuel goes in so that'll probably be in the next video I'm gonna make this this fuel cap over here and then I think that we should be done with all the fabrication or metal fabric or body fabrication work on this car uh, also I need to put in some louvers there but I'm gonna do that at another stage thank you guys for all of your support and views and comments and so on and I hope I'll see you next week. Cheers!